it's Rianne. About a year ago, I looked out my window and I saw a woman going by on her bike, which is not that novel because I live in Amsterdam, but what she was wearing is what really stood out to me. She was wearing the most amazing tiered black maxi dress. And immediately I was like, so I have been daydreaming about this dress and last time I was at the thrift store, I saw a black sheet amongst all of the fabric and I was like, ooh. So I upcycled the tablecloth into this dress ethically and sustainably. I do have to give a shout out to Maddie of the Essentials Club. She made a really great video about how to make a tiered dress um, and I ended up using her method uh, for each tier and uh, multiplying it by 1.5 to get the tier that was going to be subsequent. The top of the dress that I made is pretty different from hers though because I did decide to put in a zipper for example and I don't have tie straps um, and I wanted to make sure that this part was super fitted. But I'll also have her video linked in the information bar below. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how I made the dress of my dreams. So here is the tablecloth in question and when I inspected it, actually the top was pretty worn but the underside was a lot less worn. So I decided to use the underside as the part that would be facing out. And here I have taken some measurements and all of the details of the measurements and how to take them will be in the information bar below. But I measured out what I would need for the bodice and I made this into a trapezoidal shape. You can ignore what I'm doing on the bottom there because I ended up using a different method for the back because of the zipper. Um, so just pay no mind to that. Then I thought about how thick I would want the strap to be and I multiplied it by two folded it so I could have two straps and then I sewed it down the side. Then I took each of those straps and I flipped them right side out so that way the seam would be hidden. And of course I hit that with the iron. I sandwiched my straps between my trapezoids and I lined them up right on the edge of where the angles chain. Then I sewed along the top and when I flipped it right side out, the straps were coming out of the top very neatly. So here is what the back actually looked like. So I had two sides that mimicked the front, um, but they were two halves that were overlapping. I tried it on at this point to see how long I would want my straps to be. And when I marked that, I pinned my straps where I'd like them to be. I put an invisible stitch at the very top on each side. Then I took each strap and folded it over. And then just on the innermost lining part of the top, I sewed that down as well. So it could be nice and neat. Next, I trimmed the pretty much huge amount of seam allowance that I had and I overlocked each of the sides so that way it would be all locked in. After finding the measurement for my top tier, I did something pretty similar in that it kind of had a barn doors effect. So there was the front piece and then two pieces that were long in the back. I went ahead and did a basting stitch and then did some ruffles. And once I liked the ruffles, I pinned them into place. You wanna try and make this as random as possible, which is actually really difficult. And make sure that your ruffles, which are basically pleats on the inside, are going different ways. So this is what the top looks like at this juncture. The next thing I did was find the center, sandwich it, and sew it up so that way I could put in a zipper. And I will have the video I used to install the zipper linked in the information bar below because it was super helpful. Um, and the next thing I had to do was press that right open. So once I got the zipper in, it's not finished at this point because you can see the top peeking out, um, but this is what the top looked like and I was so excited because this was the first zipper I put in that looked actually very nice. So here I'm working on the next tier down and this is the first tier where I didn't have to take the zipper into account. So as I mentioned before, I took the length of the tier before it and I multiplied it times 1.5. So I cut out two panels in order to get that length and I sewed them together on each side. Make sure to leave the top and bottom open and only sew up the sides. We're basically creating a large loop that we're going to then basting stitch the top of and ruffle just like last time. So once I had all of my ruffles in place and my pins, I went ahead and sewed that to the tier prior. After every step, I made sure to overlock and then I repeated the process for the last tier. The last thing I had to do was hem the bottom of the dress. When I was wearing it, it actually fell a little bit longer in the back than the front. I was cognizant of that and I made sure to hem it so that way it would all end straight across. And then I just made sure to go back and overlock any remaining seams that I had and I was done.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and you can also follow me on Instagram. It's at Star, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.